Once the main building is framed out, the lean-tos can be installed. Prepare your lean-to columns the same as you did for the main building, attaching base cleats, haunch brackets, and any other bracketry to the columns while they are on the ground. Raise each column into place and fasten to the foundation with anchor bolts. Consult your construction documents to ensure each column is in the correct location. To install your rafters, use a lift to raise the rafter into place. Rafters will be screwed to the lean-to bracket angles attached to the outside of your main building columns. After securing the rafter to this bracket, lower the lift slowly, allowing the weight of the rafter to bend the bracket until you are able to secure the rafter to the haunch bracket. Once all your columns and rafters are set in place, you can begin installing sidewall girts, purlins, and endwall girts on your lean-to, using the same method as on the main building. If your building has an open lean-to, you will need to install your wall panels up to the lean-to roof before you can install the rafters. The rafters on the open lean-to will connect to the main building columns via lean-to brackets attached to the connector boxes that you assembled and attached to your main building columns. To attach your lean-to brackets to the main building columns, first measure the height to the bottom of the clip and mark the wall panel at this location. If a rib crosses over your connector box, you will need to cut and flatten the rib so you can install the lean-to bracket. Measure the height of the bracket. Use snips to cut into the rib at the top and bottom measurement, then cut along the top of the rib. Flatten the metal for the rib so that you now have a flat area to install the lean-to bracket. Once the lean-to bracket is in place, you can install the same as you did for the enclosed lean-to. Install girts and purlins for your open lean-to the same as you did for the main building and the enclosed lean-to.